I was in school the other day and I was having a bit of trouble with a physics problem. And so I ran into uh, one of my classmates and, um, you know, our schedules, I guess they, they coincide. And so because of that, uh, we usually are rushing to complete a homework just before class. Um, you know, even though we have different classes, um, we're usually rushing to complete a homework or a lab report or whatever. And uh, so we were in the study room and I needed help with a physics problem. It was something about taking the integral um, to get uh, velocity or acceleration. I don't even remember. So it was just a calculus-based physics problem. And so he helped me solve the problem and we got to talking. And so we started talking about all sorts of things like the price of gold and, and the practicality of, of mining asteroids in the asteroid belt um, and whether our technology can even uh, realistically achieve such a feat at this point in time. And, and somehow the conversation was steered finally to uh, the dangers of marriage. And he actually brought that up. And, and so I was, I was happy because, you know, uh, being a man going his own way, you have to self-censor a lot because a lot of men just don't get it. You know, we have a lot of white knights and manginas out there and, you know, you guys know how it is. So basically, you know, most of the time you have to self-center because you don't want to start World War III for um, expressing your male sovereignty uh, unapologetically. But he actually brought it up. So I was like, OK, you know, let me see. Let me see where this guy is uh, in his path to male freedom and sovereignty. And so he starts talking about not wanting to be a provider workhorse for women and how he is not going to take all these high level calculus and physics classes and 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 you know become an engineer just so in the end he can lose it all in divorce court to some greedy woman when the when the missus decides to rake you over the coals in divorce court and i'm just like cool you know it's it's good to hear you say that you know a lot of guys don't think that way and i'm and i'm pretty much just telling him that uh i agree and and you know and i admire his position and so out of nowhere he asked me, well, you know, uh, a lot of a lot of stuff that I'm saying now, I actually learned it uh, from watching this guy on YouTube and he, his, his name is Barbarossa. And I'm just like, <laughs> I am Barbarossa. And he didn't even believe me at first. So I actually logged into my uh, my YouTube account and showed him that, you know, I indeed I I am the owner of this account. So it was just a crazy thing to see um, somebody in, in my school, you know, on campus, uh, that actually listens to my video that had no idea that I was, that I was this person posting the videos. Um, and, 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 it, and it was, it was something, it was a good feeling to actually see somebody implementing the type of advice that I, that I give, you know, actually implementing into his life, uh, the advice that I dole out because these days you need two levels of education, you know, for those of us who decide to go to school for real, tangible, applicable uh, science and math based curricula, you know, it's always good to have something like that. But, but, uh, you know, you need a second education, that being how to maneuver through and properly navigate the climate of misandry that we are under um, in, in the Western nations. It's important to educate yourself on both of these spheres because if you have a great job but you don't understand uh, how easy it is for a female to steal from you, legally steal from you, and to enslave you via child support and 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 alimony and all that all that kind of stuff. If you don't understand that, then you're just a uh, you're just a, a moving target, you know, a juicy one. <laughs> you know, these women will zoom in on you and they will destroy you. Quite literally, they will destroy you. You know, the suicide rate shooting up is, is in a, isn't an accident. You know, a lot of these men, they, they end up starting out good careers, you know, on top of their game. And then the right woman comes along, says the right thing, fucks him the right way. And all of a sudden he's broke and his children are gone and his house is taken and she's moving into boyfriend and she took his self-respect and dignity and money. And, you know, they really don't have anything else to live for at that point. So they kill themselves. Um, it happens all the time. But I guess this rant is pretty much just me saying that, you know, people are getting it, you know, specifically men. You know, a lot of women are understanding as well the damage that feminism has wrought. But to be honest, who gives a shit about women? This is a channel for men and men's rights and men's issues and men's empowerment. So if women derive some sort of uh, learning experience from what I say, then, you know, great. I'm not against that. 
but this channel isn't for you. This is for this is for my fellow men. And I guess I guess this is just a status report um, <laughs> from behind enemy lines. You know, we were on campus, so uh, you know how universities are centers for cultural Marxism and so on and so forth. But yeah, it's a status report from behind enemy lines that there are some men that are starting to see this for what it is and are starting to wake up and resist the system. And this is what I'm talking about. You know, we are in a gender war, and in this war, we are uh, launching a, 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 a siege warfare effort to take back male sovereignty, to resist the 60-year-long exercise in male expenditure spearheaded by the feminist and, 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 and the forces of misandry and chivalry. And we are taking back our male identity and sovereignty and it feels great to see other men do it and we will own our manhood once again we will have a male identity again and we will do so unapologetically and anybody that stands in our way is going to be crushed underfoot because we will not tolerate failure under any circumstances this is a battle for male identity and male sovereignty so basically what i want to say in this video is is to my fellow men Remember that you can, you can navigate this society. You can successfully maneuver your way through this society unscathed by the forces of misandry. You can. It is possible and people are doing it. I'm doing it. Other, pe other men are doing it all over the world. Um, and, 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 you know, I also want to say, and, and I don't think this has actually ever been said um, up until right now. But I just want to say that what we are doing, um, you know, what this men's movement is doing is good and it is righteous. And we have the truth uh, uh, bolstering up, you know, our side of the coin, so to speak. We have the truth behind us. What we are doing is right and good because all we are struggling for is to live life independent of female uh, provision. We don't want it anymore. We reject it through in and throughout. We are done. You know, uh, the parasitism that has been the last 60 years has finally uh, sucked men dry for so long that we cannot stand for it anymore. And it is time to remove the tick. It is getting to the point where our motions are so restricted. You know, our development is so restricted by this blood sucking leech. That we are finally getting to the point where we are going to extricate the leech. It's going to be a long and rigorous process, but it will happen. It will happen. The tipping point is approaching. And that's all I really got to say about it for now.